Are you old school? Do you like to feel like an OG? Well then, platformer games are probably right up your alley. They are some of the oldest forms of video games and thereby one of the most popular too. If you're a platform gamer already, or thinking about getting into them, you're not gonna wanna miss this video. Welcome to Down to Top. Today I'm back with 15 beautiful offline platformer games just for you. Before we jump in, show your support for the channel by smacking that thumbs up. Done? Nice. Let's get into it. Number 15. Nick's Quest Kindred Spirits This entire game is rendered beautifully in 3D, but it plays exactly like a classic 2D platformer with a slight Metroidvania bend. You gotta start off without any abilities, and as you advance through the game, you'll unlock new powers that'll help you get some of the title's trickier puzzles. The game's main protagonist is a winged girl named Nyx, who's searching for her lost friend somewhere on the scorched dry earth. Nyx is given help from the gods and can move pillars and other massive structures to continue on her journey. So in short, Nyx Quest is a beautiful and fun platforming game that I'm sure you're going to enjoy. Number 14. The Beggar's Ride Now this one is a unique and innovative platformer puzzle adventure game with also a really well told story. So in the game, you get to manipulate the environments to solve puzzles in a deep and intriguing story of discovery. Now on the pros list for this game, The Beggar's Ride has a colorful, cute and visually appealing animation style. Everything looks great and it has a nice mix of puzzles and platforming with some good gameplay mechanics. However, on the cons list, the puzzles are pretty easy throughout the game. But overall, anyone who's just looking for a casual puzzle platforming game, The Beggar's Ride doesn't disappoint and offers just the perfect experience the user is typically looking for. Number 13. Papello This is an adventure co-op game where you have to try and help the brother and sister who are lost on an island. The game begins off fairly easily. The new mechanics are introduced as you discover the abilities. The game contains 30 levels in total, with different challenges on every level. There's an offline mode for those that prefer to play alone, but difficulty increases. You have the ability to control both the girl and the boy, but there's also a co-op multiplayer mode where you can play your friend. All in all, this is a fun game with good graphics and decent controls. Number 12. Blackmore 2 is a freemium fantasy action role-playing game where players choose from a collection of classic fantasy characters and embark on a quest to find a legendary hero and save the world from a cursed artifact. The gameplay of this one is broken down into different levels that are a mix of fantasy combat and platforming, and as you complete each level, you are granted experience and gold. Number 11. Reaper of Immortals this one's an indie 2D pixel art adventure game. It tells the story of a lost reaper that's seeking his true purpose. In the game, you have to fight countless enemies and reap your way through the world and find out the ultimate truth. The game features a total of four worlds, each with a unique atmosphere. In addition, there's 16 challenging levels and nine boss battles with different mechanics and also 20 plus types of enemies. All in all, I thought Reaper of Immortals was a thrilling adventure that had some really unique characters and also supported controller, which is definitely a plus. Number 10, Castle of Illusion. He had to move fast. This is an action adventure game based on the original Castle of Illusion, where the main hero is none other than Mickey Mouse himself, who's on a thrilling adventure to rescue his girlfriend, Minnie Mouse. Through the game, you'll learn the story of Mickey Mouse alone in the Phantom Castle and defeating a witch. The gameplay is much like the original, but the level design of the game is really good. The levels are gorgeously animated and colorful, and sprites are really well animated, so if you're a fan of Disney, then you should definitely try out this game. Number 9. Mimpy Dreams Relaxing, cute, imaginative, these are all ways to describe Mimpy Dreams. At its very core, it is a mild puzzler platformer game in which you directly control the titular doggy through varying platforming challenges. Along the way, you get to control elements in the environment, which involves some mild puzzle solving. Both the platforming and puzzle side are very easy for those who require it. The game is divided into five worlds. You have to advance by overcoming all the obstacles that get in your way, all in all, it's an excellent dog dream simulator that has a really unique concept and is just really fun. Number 8. Little Orpheus 
is a Technicolor side-scrolling adventure game inspired by classic movies like Flash Gordon, Sinbad, and The Land That Time Forgot. Playing as Ivan Ivanovich, you recount the story of your journey to the center of the Earth to your Russian commander. Starting off in a rocket called the Little Orpheus, you soon find yourself crashing in a prehistoric subterranean world filled with dinosaurs, monsters, and all other kinds of mysterious creatures. The controls are simple, and Little Orpheus is also one of the most impressive graphical showcases I've seen on mobile so far. Also, we have another Apple Arcade game, Way of the Turtle. This one's a fairly straightforward platformer about two turtles attempting to find each other after becoming marooned on a dangerous island. The game recently received a massive update that almost doubles the length of the main campaign, adding new puzzles to solve, enemies to outsmart, and other such challenges to overcome. They also added six new areas to explore, including a lava-spewing volcano. There's also some new enemies here, including witches and some tricky new bosses. Overall, it's a great game with beautiful graphics and now it's much longer, so if you haven't yet, try it out, and if you have already, go back and finish it off. Number 7. Evans Remains So if you like platformers, then I'm guessing you're also the type of person who likes to explore, experience journeys, and that kind of fun stuff of games. Then you should definitely try out this puzzle-based platformer game that offers a beautiful pixel art. In this game, you play the role of a boy named Evan who's on a deserted island in the Pacific Ocean to rescue his friend. The gameplay is pretty straightforward for a puzzle or platformer game you go through, you solve puzzles and challenges and progress. Overall, Evan's Remains has an interesting storyline and some cool characters, and despite the retro style, the graphics still do look great. Number 6. Beneath the Lighthouse now this is not your ordinary game puzzler. The graphics, storyline, and overall gameplay are unique on this one. In the game, a little boy is out searching for his grandpa who went missing. On your journey, you'll go through mysterious mechanical wheels that lay beneath the lighthouse. The game consists of several levels with a time limit where the player has to maneuver a boy indirectly by manipulating the circular room where the boy is contained. No direct control over the boy can be influenced, so the player can only rotate the surrounding circle left or right, and then gravity and physics do the rest. Number 5. Candleman This is a beautiful 3D platformer that gives you the journey of a little candle that just wants to shine as bright as a lighthouse. It contains 12 different chapters, each featuring different mechanics over a few stages. Each has its own distinct ambience and theme revolving around the various sources of light. The game is not overly difficult, and the main gimmick of it is that you can only light up your little candle protagonist in quick bursts, so you're allowed to burn a total of 10 seconds throughout a single stage before you melt completely. Overall, this one's a unique, simple, and relaxing game. Number 4. Play Dead's Inside this is a puzzle platformer where you'll play the role of an unnamed boy who explores a surreal and mostly monochromatic environment. The game is dark, with color used sparingly to highlight both the player and certain parts of the environment. You'll be mauled to death by dogs, shot to death, fall to your death, get tasered by robots, run over by pigs, drown, and much much more all while trying to solve puzzles to keep the game going. The game also has a number of things which will just kill you with absolutely no indication to the player that it's even hazardous. Overall, this one's a great game. It can be a little bit challenging and frustrating, but I think it's a lot of fun. So if you haven't checked it out already, I'd give it a try. Number 3. Chris is a visually stunning platformer that is punctuated with some light puzzle elements later on in the game. You play as Gris, a young woman struggling to recuperate after a deeply traumatic experience. In terms of gameplay and mechanics, Gris is very light on its feet. There is no failsafe and there are no enemies to overcome. This is a game to be experienced rather than one to be beaten into submission. I really found that this is hands down the most beautiful game I've ever played. It deals with a lot of complicated emotions and most prominently being grief. So if you're looking for a bit more of a deep dive, definitely check out Chris. Number 2. The Swords of Ditto So basically, this is a compact action RPG where you'll explore a dangerous overworld, delve into threatening dungeons, and improve your hero in a pleasant village. The gameplay revolves around diving into many dungeons to overcome the evil that plagues the in-world game. 
Overall, the cartoon graphics are superb and the music is very pleasing, though the touch controls are pretty rough and can make it a bit frustrating. Number 1. Forgotten Annie this is a game that captivates lovers of the genre with unique storylines and eye-catching graphics. Forgotten Annie is well cared for with the gameplay focusing on the scene, puzzles, and choice of answers to interact with other characters. Besides, the game has a limited appearance of interactive dialogue to lead the plot. It's up to you as a player to make your own decisions, and these decisions will directly affect the outcomes of the scenes. Overall, I found this game to have a great storyline, beautiful animation graphics, and I think you should definitely give it a try. And there you have it, the top 15 best platformer games just for you. Have you tried any of these games before? Which one are you going to check out first? Let us know in the comments section down below. And while you're down there, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to Down to Top if you haven't already, and hit the bell notification so you're front of the line for our next video, which we drop every single week. Until next time, be well.